Hi guys, I think of vision as programming your mind because I firmly believe that it's more, more important than the owner of a business, the CEO of the business, the person in charge of a business has his mind right first. So let me show you how powerful a vision with the right actions can be. So around in 2006, I started applying a kind of formula to my life about the uh, and building a vision of what I wanted for the future. I'd get together with my wife and we sit down and we plan. We had one of the old books and we just put like sticky notes. We put things in it that we wanted to achieve. And it was everything from the countries that we wanted to go to, to the perfect house that we'd like to have, to what we would like in the home, to our holiday home and car, everything that we thought of, we put in there. But we looked at it regularly and spoke about it regularly and got into a kind of, of a routine of how we would look at that. A few years later, the, uh, uh, the house, I used to um, have a very small house and I'd look up in the hill and uh, whenever I took a break, I could see this mammoth house and it was huge. It was in six different levels and I used to wonder what the person who owned that house, you know, what kind of job or what kind of business did he have that he could own a house like that because it required staff, it was massive, and um, I could see it and drive past it every day. Well, fast forward a few years, that became my house. I owned that house for years. It was a wonderful house. Everything inside was exactly as we had imagined it to be. We renovated it and took everything back to concrete, had architects come in. We had everything that we had planned meticulously through the years and the months and the years when we were planning this, we had here. You know, here my wife wanted a room dedicated to shoes and handbags. We had a wall that had Shirovsky crystals all over. It was an amazing house, but it was all planned. We There was nothing in that house that we hadn't pre-planned already. Um, and people used to drive past it just because it, we had... We had decorated it and, um, you know, the outside of the house, there's a big eagle here. It was like seven or eight foot tall that we had uh, custom designed and made. So what's your vision? Not just for the business, but for yourself. What does that vision look like? It should be almost tangible. It should be a movie that you're playing in your, in your head to the point where whatever that looks like for you, you can almost feel and touch and smell it. So if it was, whatever it might be, it might be to sit under a tree on a beach. You know, what does that look like? What does it feel like? It might be to run the biggest organization in the world. What would your day look like if that's what you're doing? So the first part of the equation is to clearly define what you want for yourself and for your company. And vision, there's really three steps to it, I think, is to, first of all, you've got to imagine it. Because if you, you know, it doesn't exist unless you imagine it. Then you've got to kind of uh, clarify that by writing it down and then reduce it to something that you can remember to start training your mind. And if you remember from previous videos, we spoke about the reticular activating system. It's the bottom of the brain where your mind filters what's important uh, into the brain. So your vision will dictate your values, it will clarify your purpose, it will give you direction, it will help you choose your partner, it will take away stress because you know what you're doing, it will focus you, it will determine how you spend your time, and it will decide where your energy goes. And where energy goes, that's where things happen. You can only ever become as big as your vision. It's almost impossible to exceed it. So make it big. It's your destiny. Working on your vision is one of the most powerful exercises that you can do. Make time for it. So step number one, imagine what that vision is. What does it look and feel like? Uh, and go as granular as you possibly can. Write it down. And you know, for yourself and for your team, when your team writes down their vision, it should be a collaborative group exercise. But for you personally, it should be uh, something that you, and it, it's fluid, it can change, but write it down. Reduce it to something that you can remember. 
There's no point in having four pages of a vision statement that you can't remember. It's more important to have it short, simple, that you can repeat and memorize. So there's some ideas on vision, both for you personally and for your business. There's a lot, it's a lot more in, uh, it's a lot more in depth than what we're covering right now. So if you'd like more videos on this topic, just let me know. Best place to get me is on YouTube. Just look for Mark McRae. Thank you.